Good afternoon, everybody. It's Friday, and that means you guys are just a few hours away from a great weekend of fishing. If you're new to the channel, I'm Captain Jason, and I'm a full-time fishing guide in Tampa Bay. I make weekly fish room content and help you all become better anglers, and I also showcase what it's like to be a full-time fishing guide. So if that sounds like something that you'd be interested in, please take a brief moment, hit that like button, and subscribe to my channel, and comment about how you found my channel in the comments below. It would really help me out. Alright guys, we got some mahi in the boat. Look at these beautiful. We had to work for them, but some good dinner. Trent believes I know how to fish. <laughs> Not that I just drink all the time. Moving on to this weekend's fishing forecast. We're being gifted with another fantastic weekend of weather. The forecast is mostly sunny to partly cloudy with the morning lows in the 50s and the afternoons in the 70s. Sunday is more of the same with, with more scattered cloud cover and we have another approaching front on Monday, so the fishing should be good. Let's take a look at Wind Finder and see what the wind's gonna be doing this weekend. Moving on over to the tides. And let's finish up by looking at the salooners for the weekend. Moving on over to Windfinder, everyone. We're gonna go ahead and scroll over to Saturday at 7 a.m. and we are going to see what we have in store for the wind for the weekend. Remember, every week I go over the wind forecast and the tides and the salooners over here on my channel. So if you guys are wanting to get all that information and know when you should be fishing, you should definitely make sure you look out for this report and hit that bell notification so you get every single one of my videos that when they pop up on your phone. So. Windfinder.com is where I get all my wind information from, the Windfinder Pro app on your phone. So Saturday, 1219 at 7 a.m. It looks like we're going to be having a northeast wind anywhere from about 8 to 13 knots. A little bit windier if you're going to be fishing offshore. Uh, let's just scroll through the day here. It looks like the winds are going to be uh, dying down and switching out of the east. And these are all purples and blues, so this tells me it's going to be a, it's going to be a pretty nice day Saturday wind-wise. So east wind, northeast to east winds, all the way through the day. So let's scroll over to 12:20, 7 a.m. And uh, as expected, with a front coming through Monday, we're going to have southerly winds. So winds out of the southeast at 7 a.m. around 10 miles an hour. And let's see what they do. Let's see if they pick up. So offshore guys, if you if you're going to be getting out there, make sure you got a bigger boat and you know what you're doing because it's going to be uh, it's going to be a little bit bumpier offshore. But inside Tampa Bay, we should be good. 10 a.m., 10 miles an hour. Looks like they're forecasting 10, and then uh, picking up to uh, 10 to 15 out of the south southeast for the rest of the day, and then really starting to pick up as that front approaches early Monday morning. Heading over to the tides this weekend, Saturday night, the 19th, we're going to be having a high tide at 4.41 a.m. and a low tide at 12.51 p.m. And I really like these tides for wintertime, guys, especially if you have a little boat. One, the fish really congregate on these lower tides, but they also feed really well on these. So if you don't mind the little bit chillier temperatures, I'm starting my trip at 7 a.m. on Saturday, and we're gonna just dress appropriately for the weather because I think the bite's gonna be that good when you wanna be out there right at sunrise and fish that whole outgoing tide. We have a low tide at 5.41 a.m. and a high tide at 1.36 p.m. and then another high tide at 9 p.m. So same thing with Saturday is if you're really wanting to catch some fish on Sunday, get out there early and fish that whole outgoing tide. Make sure you watch where you're going because it's going to be low, low water, guys. It's been low all week. 
Uh, I've been running my little pulling skiff around, and I've been bumping bottom places with that. So just to give you an idea of how shallow it's going to be. So if you see water that looks really calm, don't run over it. So that's it for the tides, and that's when I would fish, guys. Let's go ahead and check out what these salooners are doing. So we're going to scroll back to the 19th, click on salooner activity. So it looks like we have high activity from 4.43 a.m. to 6.43 a.m. And then uh, another salooner from 5.12 p.m. to 7.12. So pretty much uh, correlating with sun, sunrise and sunset on Saturday. Let's check out Sunday salooners. We have a major period at 5.29 a.m. to 7.29 a.m. And then another high activity salooner at 5.57 to 7.57 p.m. Check out that. Let me know if you guys are catching fish during the salooners. You can comment below how much you look at salooners and if it's something I should keep in my fishing reports or not. As far as what you should be expecting to catch this weekend, I've been getting lots of reports that the trout are thick on the flats and that the fish are really starting to congregate near deeper areas, near warm water and river mouths inside Tampa Bay. I've also been getting some reports and catching some myself, uh, silver trout. The silver trout, as you know, have no size limit and are really good to eat and ferocious eaters. So a lot of people give them crap, but they are here and they're here to stay for the rest of the winter. So go catch those up. And then also I've been getting some reports that the big cobia are showing up on the flats surrounding warm water supplies. As far as redfish goes, they have pushed up shallow and they can be caught on the high or low tides as long as the water's moving. And the snook bite is still just hit or miss as the water tends to have been below 65 degrees for a few weeks now. Near shore, the hogfish and snapper bite continues to be super strong. And the kingfish have pretty much made their push towards the warmer water in the Florida Keys. Grouper season is open until December 31st. And the bite has been hot inside the Tampa Bay Shipping Channel. And anywhere there is structure anywhere around Tampa Bay, you can catch a grouper off it right now. With light winds and a lot of moving water this weekend, it should be a great weekend to catch some fish. Don't forget to like this video, hit that subscribe button, and if you're looking for more videos about fishing and what it's like to be a full-time fishing guide, check out the other videos in the description below. Lastly, if you want to support this channel, I have posted my Amazon affiliate link in the description. Anything on Amazon that you buy after clicking that link, I get a small commission from. So please support my channel and my business by buying some items you already purchased through this link. It would really help me out. See you guys out on the water. Have a great weekend.